Welcome to day 72 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're gonna have a look on how to add custom elements inside our rich text. So basically you can just add a CTA section or a line divider or whatever uh, div block that you have previously set up. You can just add it inside the rich text from the CMS itself. So you can help your clients add different things inside the rich text and customize their CMS pages. This method is pretty simple. You just paste in a code, add the lines that you need based on how many divs that you want to add. And then you make some sort of like a map that you can just add, let's say divider, you just name it divider and you, you put divider in the CMS and then it makes it line divider. So enough of me talking, let's just see this in action. Uh, just don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and stay tuned on this hundred days of Wafflet journey. Let's get to this. All right, so what we have here is this uh, blog post, and as we did yesterday, we set up this um, sort of like anchor links that is customized from the CMS, so we can add as many steps as we want as long as we select an H2 html element and it just adds it here to the table of content uh, now there are different ways you can do this we just did that for the sake of you know doing it quickly but uh, that's how that was done you can watch the video from yesterday today we're gonna have a look on how to add things like this line divider like this cta uh, button here inside the rich text element so you see this is like inside the rich text and the user can add this or the editor can add this easily himself or themselves so let's have a look at the build so basically we need to call elements this way so say in the case of divider i named the divider and you can just add this to the cms so you can see here we have this done in the cms so let's do it on another um on another blog post so let's say here i'll add a divider and then here i add a cta so i believe i called it oh, man and this is not my keyboard okay so i believe i called it cta box uh, if i'm not mistaken let's just check that out uh, CTA just CTA there is no box so let's fix this let's say CTA and let's save let's go to this digital nomad guide to stay healthy the digital nomad guide where is it uh, to staying healthy okay so here we have a divider we have a CTA so let's publish and see how this would look So you see here is the CTA, here is the line divider. Now this is done using a custom code that you can add to your page. So this is the custom code that I'm using. So basically I'm just uh, calling the element, calling the element rich text and adding inside its inner HTML this element or this element based on a placeholder text that I set up. So in this case it's CTA in this case is divider so i can do this as many times as i want so that's why the while uh, function here uh, if you want to add more let's say uh, you want to add more elements so you can just uh, add more here now the trick is um, unfortunately the trick is that you'll have to have those elements inside your page so in this case i had them in a div called the draft and hit it but these are the elements here so line divider and cta box so you will have to have them on the page you can hide them and then you can call them within your cta uh, within your rich text so that's how that is done i'll leave the link to the clonable you can check it out test it out see if you have better methods thank you for watching i hope i taught you something today as usual, the link to the clonable is in the description below, so make sure to check that out. See you tomorrow in day 73.